okay so welcome guys this is one of the question posted by you in the comment so i will try to solve this question okay now here it is given that we have two plates which we have to join okay and the thickness of the plate is what one is of 10 mm thickness one and one is of 18 mm thickness so the thickness is different of the plates which we have to join okay are to be joined by a double cover butt joint okay so another data is that the joint should be a double cover butt joint now design the joint by the following data that is seven factored load factored load is 750 kN so we don't have to apply any factor of safety for load it is already given 500 750 kN so this is the factored load and the dia of the bolt is what 20 mm so dia of the what will be the dia of the bolt pull dia of the bolt pull will be 22 mm and if we the plate is if we 410 plate okay and what is the grid of the bolt the grid of the bolt is 4.6 so obviously we can conclude that fu will be equals to 410 mpa and what will be the fy if you b and what will be the fy b yield strength will be equals to 0.6 into 400 that is equals to 240 mpa and the cover plates which we have to use are 8 mm thick show the detailed sketch after designing the joint okay so <clears throat> first of all it's very simple actually but the interesting thing is here that we have to design it for um, that the plates which we have to join are of different thicknesses this is 10 mm and uh, another one is 18 mm okay so this is 18 mm thickness and this is 10 mm thickness so we have to join it by double cover part joint okay now see the problem here is that we have to use packing plate i have told you packing plate in the reduction factors chapter so we have to use packing plate here this is what this is packing plate and what will be the thickness of the packing plate packing plate thickness obviously this is 18 this is 10 so it will be 8 mm thickness <coughs> these are 6 mm thickness oh sorry 8 mm thick this is also 8 mm so when we will when we will find out the shear strength of the bolts we don't have to consider the thickness of the plate but when we will find out the bearing strength then we have to take the thickness of the plate because the formula is what vd is b equals to 2.5 kb d into t kb d t fu by gamma mb right so there is a parameter t where we have to take the thickness of the plate so what will be the thickness now the thickness t will be equals to well the, here see there are i have said that i have said in the previous lecture see i will show you okay here yeah. here it is see i have shown you that t will be equals to minimum of c1 plus c2 that is the sum of the cover thickness of the cover plate and the t prime that is the thickness of the main plate but here the main plates are also of different dimensions right so what we have to do here we have we will have to write all the three plates that is 10 mm first is 10 mm another one is 18 mm and another one is the sum of the cover plate that 8 plus 8 equals to 16 mm so among these three which is the minimum here 10 mm is the minimum that's why so t will be equals to 10 mm now first of all we will find out the strength in shear or the shearing strength of the plate of the bolt sorry 
so what is the formula vdsb equal to fub by root over 3 comma mb into a n into n n right beta lj into beta lg into beta pkg these are the reduction factors three reduction factors see here we cannot say that is it a long joint or a uh, or a um, means it's not a long joint is it either long joint or not we cannot say so beta lj will be by default one again we can see the large grip factor but we can calculate it here right now what was the condition for a large grip that is the grip length should be more than the that the grip length should be uh, more than five times of the diameter of the bolt now what is the dia of the bolt here the dia of the bolt here is 20 mm right so what is five times of t five times of t is 5 times 20 equals to 100 mm so if the grip length exceeds 100 mm then we have to apply the reduction factor for large grip now let us calculate the grip length here so the grip length will be total from here to here right so what is the grip length 8 mm 8 mm 16 mm plus 18 mm okay that is 20 30 <clears throat> 34 34 mm is the grip length so it is well below the uh, upper limit of the large grip length so this will also again by default it will be 1.0 this will be 1.0 now what is the condition for the what was the condition for the thickness of thickness of the packing plate that is reduction factor for black packing plate it was that the if my if the thickness of the packing plate exceeds 6 mm 6 mm then we have to uh, take the reduction factor so here we have to apply this this reduction factor since the thickness of the packing plate is greater than 6 mm okay so we will consider it later uh, let us find out this factor first this part first okay so <clears throat> fu is equals to what fub is equals to 400 mpa equals to an an is equals to pi by 4 into into 20 mm of is the area of the bolt cross section area into 0.78 into nn since we are we are using double cover bar joint the value of nn will be equals to 2 divided by root over of 3 into gamma mb what is gamma mb 1.25 so what will be the value here let's calculate so here the VDSB is coming out to be uh, you can see 90,000 90,528 that is equals to 90.6 no 90.50 kilo newtons okay so this is the shear that is the shear strength of the bolt now secondly we have to find out the bearing strength of the bolt bearing strength now as we know that our uh, t is our 10 mm so we have to find the kb factor well first of all i will write the formula vdkb equals to 2.5 into kb into d into t into fu by gamma mb okay now we have to find out this kb so kb is equals to KB is equals to what? KB was equals to uh, the minimum of four factors. What were the four factors? P0 by 3, D0 minus 0.25, E0 by 3, D0, uh, FUB by FU, and what? Okay. So let us calculate each of them one by one. Now see here we don't know the P0 or D0. So we will have to take the P0 equals to P minimum. That is the what was the criteria of the minimum pitch? The minimum pitch was to, which we have to take is 2.5 times the diameter of the bolt and which comes to be 2.5 into 20. So it will be 50 mm. So what will be my P0 for 20 mm bolt? The minimum pitch is equals to 50 mm 
okay now what will be the edge distance edge distance will be equals to 1.5 times of the diameter of the hole right so e0 will be equals to 1.5 times the dia of the hole so 1.5 into 20 sorry 1.5 into 22 because the dia of the hole is 22 mm right so what will be e0 e0 will be 33 mm now let us calculate p0 by 3 p0 minus 0.25 equals to it will be 50 by 3 into 22 3 into 22 that is 66 minus 0.25 so what will be the value here 50 divided by 66 minus minus 0.25 that is equals to 0 0.507 or you can say 0.51 Okay, now what will be the value of E0 by 3D0? 33 divided by 66, plain and simple, 0 0.50. Now what will be the value of FUB by FU? FUB, FUB is equals to 400 MPa by 410 MPa. It will come around 9 0.975. So what will be the value of KB here? KB will be taken as 0 0.50 because this is the minimum value here. <coughs> So going back to the formula, what will be the design, uh, the strength in the bearing? Bearing strength of the pole will be equals to 2.5 kb to t f u by gamma m b. So 2.5 into kb, that is 0 0.5 into t, that is 20 mm. T will be 10 mm. F u is equals to 410 by 1.25. Okay, so. The value here is 2.5 into 0.5 into 20 into 10 into 410 by 1.25. So it comes around 82,000. 82,000 that means 82,000 Newton that is 82 kilo Newton. Okay. So, what is the bearing strength here? 82 kN, right? So, are we missing something? Yes, we are missing. We missed the beta pKG factor, reduction factor for uh, which we have to use for packing scale. So, what was the formula? It was 0 0.0125 into T mass of the packing plate. That is equals to 1.1 minus 0 0.0125 into 8. <coughs> this will become one okay so point nine now we have to multiply it with the with the v d s b into beta p k g so v d s b will be equals to what ultimately the shear strength will be equals to uh, ninety point five 90 point because 90.53 kilometer 90.53 into 0.9 so the value will be 81.477 that is 48 kilometer so as we can see here that is the bearing strength is more right and the shearing strength is less so ultimately the strength of the bolt will be the lesser value of these two strength of the bolt will be what strength of the bolt will be 81.28 kilo newton so one bolt can resist up to 81.48 kilo newton of load so what will be the total number of bolts required number of bolts required equals to 750 by 81.48 that is equals to 8. it comes around 9.2 so we have to, we will have to use 10 volts right
now everything is very simple since the thickness uh, width of the plate was not given we will have to take any arbitrary width and we will draw it like this this is my cover plate okay. these are the main plates which are joined just to give five holes so five holes and this ten holes in case of uh, but but joints we will this this ten holes means we have to provide it on the one side only that means total we have to provide 20 volts okay so please keep this in mind because this alone is transferring 750 kilo newton of load right and this is also again transferring 750 kilo newton of load so we have to provide 10 volts okay and if we draw the cross section here the cross sectional diagram will be like this I will draw it in a fresh diagram, fresh page. See. One plate is thinner, 10 mm, one plate is thicker. Okay, now here we have used packing plate, which is 8 mm thick. Okay, so now we are using cover plates which are 8 mm thick again. So, let's show one point. Okay, these are M20 volt, M24.6, this is FE415. And in this diagram, we have to show the pitch, which will be what 50 mm, and the edge distance which we have taken is 33 mm. So, done. So, this is the question here. Thank you for posting such an interesting question because here we have to, we have to, we, 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 we did use the reduction factor for packing plates. So, thanks a lot, guys. Hope you have enjoyed this exercise. Have a nice day.